What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on uh, on Space ID and the ID token, the newest Binance Launchpad project after previously obviously Hooked Protocol and before that was Steppen, so that's a quite a while ago. Um, usually there's a lot of hype around this project, so I wanted to give you my full review and my opinion on whether you should buy it or not. Um, you can actually to start off with that, I think it's important information. You can actually not buy this. Uh, you can participate in the launchpad by having a um, having BNB on your account, on your Binance account. Uh, and if you have BNB, they kind of calculate how much of the total offering, so they're offering uh, 100 million tokens, how much you can get. So based on your BNB holdings in kind of relative to how much, um, how much BNB in total was held. Uh, then you can subscribe to the launchpad, so you can allocate a certain amount of BNB. Um, then there's a calculation period, and then the tokens are distributed. So um, uh, first of all, your eligibility is based on how much BNB you hold. Then you can subscribe with a portion of your BNB. For example, you can say, well, all right, I want to buy this token for two BNB. Um, and then uh, kind of in relation to how much BNB is in total subscribed with by other people, um, you get a portion of the total uh, tokens offering. So you cannot really buy that, but in the end you must, you are buying it, right? With BNB tokens. Um, so that's how it works. It's now in the preparation uh, period. So you cannot, it starts the 22nd. So in five days you can actually subscribe, but until that time you should already have BNB in your account. Uh, if you want to participate, the project itself, Space ID, as you can see, has already received quite a bit of funding in total. Uh, it received seed funding from Binance Labs um, the 2nd of September. And, uh, and and more funding, $10 million. Probably the seed founding was also something like five to 10 billion, was the 7th of, uh, of, of February. So let's talk a little bit about what Space ID and the ID token, uh, token are, tokens are. So Space ID basically is a digital identity marketplace at this point of time. And with digital identity, what they mean is domains, right? So you can buy your own do domains with .eth, .bnb, and .arp from, from Arbitrum. Uh, and usually that's also seen that if you have that domain, usually it's also seen as some sort of a identity. That's why they call it digital identities. Um, so basically right now, it is really a, a, a service and a platform based around that. So what they do right now is that you can discover, so you can, for example, uh, press .eth domains, and you can see different domains that you can actually buy now uh, on their website, and then they're, they're yours. That's one uh, part of what you can do. You can also register uh, domains, but I haven't actually uh, figured out how to do that. I'm not sure if you can do that. For example, if I type in Selenix, selenix.eth is, um, is unregistered. I mean, then you can, uh, all right, so if you just type it in, then you can register your own domain. Um, someone's probably going to take selenix.eth now, but all right, that's, uh, that's fair. You can also trade it. So for example, if you go to collections, uh, you can see .eth collections and then some like female first names are, these are not really female first names, most of them. Um, but you could understand why something like, um, I don't know, <laughs> these are not the most used female, uh, female uh, first names, obviously. Uh, but something like this, perhaps. So uh, 903, there are obviously not a lot of uh, domains like this. Uh, so you could understand why someone would want to buy that. Then you can buy that on Space ID as well. And lastly, you can also manage it. So you can put domains on that and you can trade it on their, uh, on their website. They do have a lot of things coming. Um, so uh, as I said, right now it's discovering, registering, trading, and managing. But I do have it's um, it's 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 pretty it's it's a pretty good website. For example, they also have a universal domain coming soon, uh, which basically connects all of your different domains uh, to one specific digital identity. Uh, and that's an industry that's still growing. It's an industry that's still young. And with that, sp Space ID has potential as well. I gotta be honest. Uh, I gotta be honest about it. At this point of time, it doesn't seem like they provide a whole lot of value. Um, but in the future, it's it's probably a project for the long term, right? And in the long term, they could definitely provide a lot of volume. Um, so if we take a look at the tokenomics as seen on Crypto Rank, you can see that. Um, that the Binance Launchpad is about 5% right now. Overall, I would say this is, um, 
overall it's it's decent but like 20 percent to the seed sale um it should almost be made illegal because binance labs had the seed sale they own 20 percent of the tokens and by launching it on their launchpad they know that it's probably going to do well most of the project lo uh, projects launched on the binance launchpad um do well so um that is something you have to keep in mind that there have been investments made earlier um so right now oh why can we actually not check out um well uh, what i wanted to do is check out the previous performance of binance launchpad projects um oh yeah here you can see that so overall binance launchpad projects do do fairly well there are some exceptions as you can see and there are in total seven projects that are below their uh, below their launch price but most of them as you can see have actually booked great returns uh, so overall they they do fairly well but if you take a look at for some more recent examples like hooks protocol and hft uh, what you can see is that hook actually performed well at the beginning um this is hft was launch pool but i kind of um uh, kind of see them in the same uh, in, in the same light hft dropped down massively but that was also because it was launched just ahead of the ftx crash and hook uh, performed well initially it, uh, it it consolidated for a little bit was a little bit uh, bullish but then we dropped down as well uh, but the market circumstances then were also not amazing so overall crypto projects tend to fall in the beginning but on the long term binance launchpad uh, projects seem to uh, seem to do very well um, so should you participate in Space ID in the launch uh, in in the launch pad and in their whole um, yeah in 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 the um, in the token distribution I guess we should say um, it, it remains to be I mean it's 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 up to you of course um, as I said I think the value of Space ID right now is limited but the market is doing well uh, and we haven't seen a launchpad project in a well-performing market in a while that's why i think initially it could definitely do well uh, but eventually i do think it will have the same fate as hooked protocol where it will drop down quite a bit um below the sale price which right now is 2.5 usd but that's paid in bnb so i will probably participate a little bit uh, with a little bit of BNB, but I will not be holding it for the long term. I will see if I can uh, actually get a little bit of short term profit out, out of it. And then I'll check the project to see how they're developing and uh, and see if it's long term great project as well. But that's just my take, of course. Um, but this video, I, I kind of wanted to review the project so you know a little bit more about that. So if you do have any questions about Space ID, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'll make sure to answer them as soon as possible. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.